Hey guys, it's John with Custom Type 1. I just want to show you a little bit about Sugar Pixel today. Um, to start, the display's up front, your snooze button's on the top. Around back, you've got the USB-C hardware plug for the power, the eighth inch plug for the vibration puck. On the right, you've got a buried reset button, so that's if you need to do a factory reset to clear everything. And then in the middle, a little mini SD card slot, and so that's how you do software updates. It's as easy as copying a file onto there and restarting it. You've also got a speaker around back. So I'm just gonna plug in the vibration puck first. And that's this that came with it. And then I will plug in the power to it. We'll let this boot up. I don't currently have the alarms turned on. So I just want you to see what's gonna happen as it boots. Uh, the first thing it should do is prompt for config. It's gonna do this every time. It allows you to jump on the built-in Wi-Fi network. So in case it's not connected to Wi-Fi, you can log in, get it configured. I already had it on my Wi-Fi. So you saw there it connected to Wi-Fi. It's downloading the readings and we've got really high blood sugar. Um, there's a bunch of different displays that you can use. You can play around with the config to see what they are. But uh, the default display is blood glucose, your Dexcom trend arrow, and a delta, either plus or minus, change from the last reading. And then along the bottom, you'll see up to five little ticker bars. These are how many minutes ago that reading was. So it's every five minutes, you'll see this tick across. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the audio alerts. Um, I have it set to the random tone generation. We also have standard. Uh, the standard is just more like an alarm clock, beep, beep, beep. The random helps your brain to um, not get used to the same sound every time the alarm goes off. So every time the alarm goes off, it's gonna make a different random tone um, on the fly. And that hopefully, the purpose of that is your brain doesn't drown it out as a sound that it's always used to hearing. I'm also going to have it set to the high volume. There's a low, medium, and high on this. So let me just save the settings. So here you can, you can hear the alarm going off. You probably couldn't even hear me, but you can hear the alarm going off. Uh, it's quite loud. It's quite annoying on purpose um, to ensure you get wake, woken up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut and switch the settings over to the vibration puck and jump back here in a minute. Hey guys, I got the configuration switched over to use the vibration puck instead of the audio. So I'm just gonna reboot this uh, while we're waiting for this to turn on. Um, you'll notice every time it boots, it's gonna say config across the front. That's gonna give you a short delay that you can jump on the built-in Wi-Fi and edit the configuration if you need to. If that ever stays there and doesn't continue to connect to the Wi-Fi, it means you need to jump on the config and, and edit something. Usually your Wi-Fi network uh, was down or something like that. So the vibration puck just went off. You can hear it. I'm actually gonna stick it right on the camera so you can get a better example of it. I'll just snooze it there. So that's Sugar Pixel, guys. Um, it has a ton of other features like different displays here for different times that you might need it. And also multi-users, you can have two blood sugar readings all in one. Um, check out the user manual, the website down in the description below for more of that information. Thanks.